All right, guys, welcome to another day in the vlog. I just got this package. Um, this is from ECS Tuning, I believe. And so it's either spark plugs or it's, no, it's not the air filter. It's probably spark plugs or something else. Let's open it though. Yep. So we got spark plugs. So these are the ones that went with. I went NGK. This was recommended by everyone on, on the forum. So we'll, we'll be putting these in next week um, at 3RA. Stay tuned. Hey, what's behind you right there? A lip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you notice like by our front door over there? There's also the wrap still there. Yes, I've noticed. I, I, I should probably <laughs> clean that up. <laughs> so, we'll do this quick before before Bree kills me. Oh, watch out, watch out. <laughs> almost, woo, almost fell. We got some car parts right here. Camera's balancing on a uh, water filter. So this is stuff from ECS Tuning. Let's see what we got here in this in this goodie bag. Oh wow, we got some milk. No, I'm kidding. I, so we got a BMC air filter. Okay, cool. We got some coolant. We're gonna be doing a coolant flush. And I think that's all that's in here. That's it right here. And then we got the lip. Uh, and I showed you guys the spark spark plugs earlier. But that's it. Um, but now, you know, this is Friday, you know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There we go. Cheers. Cheers. All right, guys, watch this. She like, yeah. oh, we're she, gonna throw this way. Oh, you can throw it that way. Sure. She like loses traction. Ready? Ready? She's got traction control off. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> Oh, I love you, girl. You're so fun. Oh, do you like the chicken? Do you like the chicken? Is that chicken? <laughs> Alright, guys. So, I literally just got out of the Z and dumped coffee all over myself. Um, which is tight. It's cool. It's alright. It's all good. Don't worry about me. Uh, but no, I think right now I'm just going to... It's Saturday right now. I'm trying not to do like... Too big of projects, but just gonna put the air filter in the car right now, and then uh, that'll be it for today. Okay, so there's only like eight screws on this thing, um, so it's basically all you need to do is the eight torque screws, and then torque screws, and then you have just the flathead right here. So and that's it. So all you need for this too is a T20 and a flathead. So it doesn't look super dirty, but oh well, I'm gonna replace it anyway. You already got this one, why not?
All right, well done. Put this back on. Super easy. All right, cool. Pretty straightforward. I mean, T20, flathead, loosen the tensioner, take off the eight tree, slide the thing to the left, pop out the, uh, the filter, put it back on, screw those back up, tighten the tensioner again, done. Simple as that. So here's the uh, the new lip going on the M3. So this is a GT4 lip instead of the uh, GTS V lip that was on there. A little bit longer. I'm noticing a couple little defects on here. Just right here, like you can see right there. But it's a small little thing, and maybe it can be maybe it can be polished out. I doubt it, but. Okay guys, so this is the GT4 lip. Now, I'm not sure how this, we'll see, we'll see if I end up liking this one more. So the GT4 has intake, you know, vents right here, uh, versus that one up there. I don't know if you guys can see that actually, but I'll grab it in a second. Um, obviously this lip though, compared to the GTS, I'm trying to move this thing around here, without breaking it. So it has a bigger lip right here, right? Um, has the vents and that's pretty much it slight difference in design But we'll see how this goes with the car being as low as it is, but either way um, Looks pretty good now like I said, there's a little tiny minor defect But with the front lips, I, I don't really usually invest that much money and the reason being is that I know I'm gonna crack in this or something I think this one was 400 bucks, but versus like the RPK ones or the um, 3D Design or any of those companies where you're paying like upwards of a grand to two grand. I just, I would love to have amazing fitment, but these, the fitment on these is like eight, eight or nine out of 10, maybe eight out of 10. And you know, if I'm being honest, like I'm going to break it, probably replace it in a couple months. And I would rather do that than buy the expensive one and know I'm going to have to replace an even more expensive one. So I'm giving this one a try, see how long this lasts with everything. Um, you know, I can I can just tell this is what you get when you buy the cheaper lips. So I can see like it's just not perfect on the bottom right here. Again, don't really care about the bottom. Like it's you're getting what you pay for. If you want to have a perfect lip and you want it to look amazing, the weave and everything be perfect, then you got to spend the money for a perfect one. Um, that being said, I already explained to you guys why. I don't. Let me grab the uh, the GTS just so I can show you kind of the side by side difference. So all right, I'm gonna hold this bumper the easiest way I can. But right now we have I'm trying to break anything. But you can see it doesn't go out that far. It doesn't have the vents that go up, right? It doesn't cater to any of that. This is where the fitment issue was right here on, on this part. You can just see the line right there. Let's see. Okay, and it uh, doesn't hang out as far. That's it. So this is the GTS. Oh, here, let me see if I can get this at a better angle. You can see right there how far it sticks out. So that's that. Let's put that back down. But yeah, anyways, I mean, obviously the air filter wasn't a mod. It was just, uh, you know, adding some, but it's cool to see the lip here. We got the spark plugs coming up next week and then the headlights, really stoked about. Oh, real quick, shameless plug. I'm giving away a free set of Apex wheels. Any $5 spent on DrivenCo, DrivenCo.com, any $5 spent there, will go into one entry into the raffle for a free set of wheels. Now these wheels will also be your custom offsets. So as long as Apex makes a wheel for your car, we can get the size and offsets for your car. Now it's only their flow form, their flow form lineup, not their forged lineup, but they make some incredible wheels. I have three sets of the flow form lineup and I love them all. But anyways, just want to let you guys know that's going to conclude today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. If you got something to say, write me a comment and I'll do my best to reply to you, but I'll catch you guys in the next one.